Hello everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. In today's video, I'll be working on a variety of different things around the house over the course of a couple of days. So lots of organizing, decluttering, cleaning, restocking, and more. Hopefully this video can give you a lot of motivation and inspiration today. And I am also doing a giveaway in today's video. I'm giving away a $50 gift card to Amazon so that one of you can buy some organization products for your home on me. All of the details of how to enter will be typed up here on the screen and also down below in the description box. So starting off today, I am just tidying up the kitchen and then I'm also getting some sourdough bread started. So I was just measuring out my starter and flour and water into this bowl, getting that stirred up and then just starting the process of sourdough bread, which can be quite a long process, usually either an all day process or I will start it in the evening and then let it rise overnight. Once I have that mixed up, I just cover it with a damp towel and then you will let it sit for one hour before you start the stretch and fold process. I will just type up the recipe down below in the description box. If you are wondering, I know I've shared more of a detailed step-by-step -step in previous videos, so I won't be sharing too much of the process in this video because of that. I'm going ahead and getting my two shots of espresso started while I'm washing the dishes. That way I can make an iced coffee. I've been making these maple syrup iced coffees just about every day since the weather's gotten warmer. I just put some maple syrup in a cup and let my espresso shots pour over that maple syrup. And then I'll also add a little bit of maple syrup to the finished iced coffee as well. I don't usually use a disposable cup for my iced coffees, but I had this on hand, so just using that today. Now that I've got my energy for the day, I am continuing on with the cleaning. I've got this kitchen cleaned up and I'm going to head back to our bedroom, get the sheets off and get those started in the washer. And I also want to sprinkle some baking soda on our mattress and just let that sit for a couple of hours and then vacuum it off. Sprinkling baking soda on your mattress and just letting that sit before you vacuum your mattress is a great way to refresh the mattress. You could also add a couple of drops of your favorite essential oil into the baking soda box and shake that up before you put the baking soda onto the mattress. I forgot to add the essential oil to the baking soda box this time, but that's really nice to add because it just gives your mattress that nice, fresh smell afterwards. The next thing on my to-do list was to quickly clean our bathroom drawers. These have stayed fairly organized except for the bottom drawer, which you'll see here in a little bit. I did need to reorganize and declutter that drawer a little bit, but these top two drawers just basically needed to be cleaned and a few things needed restocked, like the flossers and the Q-tips. It was really nice that these drawers had these built-in organizers and these clear acrylic organizers just fit perfectly into the spaces in the drawer. I ordered these off of Amazon and we've got them in this bathroom and also the hall bathroom. I want to quickly tell you about this deodorant. Native is sponsoring today's video, but I have been using Native deodorant for three years now. Three years ago, I was on the search for a deodorant with clean ingredients and I just couldn't find one that actually worked for me until I started using Native and it's the only deodorant I've been using ever since. I love that this deodorant is aluminum free, paraben free, and has simple effective ingredients you know like coconut oil and shea butter. It's not sticky, feels dry when applying, and I love their scents. I've tried a lot of their scents over the last three years and there hasn't been one that I haven't liked. There I was showing you three of the scents, Sweet Peach and Nectar, which has always been my favorite, Coconut and Vanilla, which is just like that perfect fresh scent, 
and then honey and white oak which I would describe as more of like a masculine scent it's very fresh and earthy anyway I would highly recommend native if you want to order anything I do have a discount you can save 20% off your first purchase at native using my link and my code happy home 5 this offer is available site-wide but only for a limited time Okay, the top two drawers are clean and now this bottom drawer as you can see just had everything thrown in here was kind of a mess and also the bottom of this drawer and the bottom of the containers were really dirty so needed to wipe this out and then just go through everything see if there was anything that I could get rid of and then organize it all back into the drawer these blue containers I had gotten from the Dollar Tree years ago the Dollar Tree is always a great place to go for organization items on a budget they usually have a pretty good selection of items there so we do keep this bathroom pretty minimal and that has really helped to keep it organized last year i went through everything and only kept what we actually used usually you have a lot of unnecessary items in your bathroom cabinets and drawers and just trying to keep everything to a minimum and only keeping items that you actually use and need really helps with the clutter in the bathroom and on the bathroom countertop and in the shower and everything and in the shower we only keep bottles that will fit in the shower niche and it's plenty of room you don't need that many bottles in the shower and then we also have a hook on the wall for things like the shower squeegee different things a little hook for the razor to hang on and we just keep it minimal in there and it really helps to be able to keep things clean The next things I wanted to get done on my list were here in the boys bedroom so a couple of days before Jalen had hung up these little bookshelves for me they're not really bookshelves they're more of like file holders I guess you would say I got these off of Amazon years ago we were going to get rid of them and just put up little bookshelves in the boys bedroom but we just ended up deciding to put these right here on this little wall underneath the basketball hoop they fit perfectly here we already had them on hand I wasn't sure where I would put little bookshelves in their room and so we just ended up keeping these they work out great and I do also keep a couple of little books over here on this toy shelf once I was done organizing their books I got started on cleaning out the boys closet there's not a whole lot of space in here because of this mattress but things were just stacked and thrown over here on this right side so I just wanted to pull everything out, go through it all. I also really needed to go through the bin of clothes that Kyle had grown out of because Owen was needing some clothes. So I needed to go through that bin and see if there was any clothes that could fit Owen. So I'm just continuing to empty everything out of the right side of this closet onto the floor and I'm trying to stack things in similar piles that way they're easier to go through and I'll just go through it all after this side of the closet is empty. I wanted to put a couple of clips here of when I had added these bins to the boys closet 
this was last year as you can see their room is not finished um, I had filmed this and never put it in a video so I thought I would just stick it in here but I gotten these plastic bins from Walmart I added the labels on here using my Cricut and I have these containers in their closet to put memory items in so basically any projects that they do that we want to keep or just any memory items over the years we can store in these bins If you've been watching my videos for a few years then you've seen that I do declutter and organize areas of my house quite often and that's because decluttering and organizing is never a once and done. It's something that you have to maintain and constantly be doing every few months to keep your home clutter free and organized. And usually I will have an ongoing donation bag in a closet somewhere in the house so that if through day to day life you find something you don't use that you could donate it can go in the bag and then once the bag is full we can drop it off at goodwill for clothing you could keep a basket in the closet and when you come across a piece of clothing you don't wear anymore you could throw it in the basket and then once the basket's full donate the clothing or when you bring something new into your closet you have to put one thing in the donate basket it's just kind of an easy way to stay on top of the clutter and also always be conscious about what you bring into your home when you're shopping before you check out scan your cart and see if there's any unnecessary items or things that you don't really need you know kind of those impulse purchases that end up being clutter in your home anyway maybe hopefully some of those tips were helpful I know keeping things organized and declutter can be really overwhelming so hopefully that gave you a bit of inspiration So this closet is looking much better. We can actually open the doors now and find things in here. We can't do built-ins or anything like that in this closet just because we have to store the guest mattress and frame and everything in this closet. It's the only closet that we have to store it in. Maybe in a couple years when the boys are older and we don't have to store a mattress in here anymore, then we can do some built-ins in here and some better storage for clothes and everything. But for now, all of their clothes do fit in their dresser. I might hang up a couple of their nice shirts. So I left this rolling drawer unit in here because it matches their Lego table. So if we ever do wanna have it out here for storage in the future, we can do that, but just storing it right here because I do have the extra room. I'm storing another drawer unit right here. And then on top of this, I just have their two backpacks for traveling and then also an extra backpack and bag back there. These two containers, like I said, just keeping memory type items in these special projects that they do or anything that we want to save over the years. And then this blue container is any clothes that Kyle grows out of and that Owen will be growing into. I always keep this side table in here because if we do have overnight guests and we set up this bed, this is the nightstand that I put beside of the bed so that they can have somewhere to put their phone and water and everything. This is Kyle and Owen's snow items, which we don't use often here in Southern Arizona, basically just if we go up north or if we go snowboarding or anything. So like their winter jackets and gloves and snow pants and all of that. Not too much stored up on that top shelf, but on the other side of this top shelf behind the mattress that you can't see, we do have some extra just random things stored back there in that extra space. And you can't see, but on the other side of this mattress, we do have all of our folding chairs and some bulletin boards down there. Okay, so now we're in the closet and I wanted to show you what I have behind the mattress. This is a Helix Midnight mattress, really comfortable if you're wondering, and they do have these frames that are really easy to set up, so great for a guest bed. Back behind here, I do have all the way back there the bedding for the guest bed and the pillows and everything just to make it really easy 
so that when I pull this out and set it up, everything is just right there. And then I have the boys extra bedding just setting up on top of this frame. He's driving some trucks down here, so it's a little bit noisy, um, but that is pretty much everything that we have stored in this closet. It works great for now, but like I said, as the boys get older, we may have to store this guest mattress somewhere else if we can and do built-ins and more storage for clothes and things, but right now all their clothes do fit in the dresser. I'll walk over and show you everything that's leaving the room. I did already take that bag of clothes back to Levi's room, and this is everything else that's leaving. So this is an extra container and just an extra basket and shelves and things I'll put over with my home decor where I keep like home decor, home project, organization items. This is a box of trash, and then this is a bag of donations. And then that box has extra wallpaper in it, which is this exact same wallpaper. And then over here, I got all their books organized onto these like file holders. This works out really well and we already had them on hand. I've got them underneath this basketball hoop right here. And I put Kyle's chapter books on top of this storage unit, but he's going to be collecting more chapter books very soon as he gets older. So I will have shelves over in my office where we can put all the chapter books. And then I do keep some of their cute books here, some of the newer ones just right here, easily accessible. Okay, so it's the next day and the next thing on my list was to deep clean this pantry. Once it gets to be warmer weather, summertime here in the desert of Arizona, you need to be sure that you're spraying the outside of your house. You also need to be keeping your pantry clean. Don't just let crumbs lay around. Keep everything sealed in containers because you will get some little bugs in your house. I had found this dead bug on the floor of the pantry it was dead, but that was kind of like my push to just go ahead and deep clean this pantry. The shelves were needing to be wiped down, so I started off with this top shelf. I wanted to go through all of these items, get them decluttered and better organized. I just have a lot of random items stored up here, so I cleared everything off of that top shelf. And then I got the vacuum to vacuum up any bigger pieces that were up on the shelf and then got my duster to dust the corners of the ceiling and the top of the shelf, wiped it all down and then reorganized everything back onto the shelf. I had a collection of different glass jars and plastic bottles up here on the top shelf and these large glass jars were pickle jars. It's really good to just hang on to these large jars. Once you use up what's inside, you can wash them and just keep them on hand because these are great if you are giving soup to someone who's sick or maybe just had a baby, you're taking somebody a meal and the meal is soup, you can put it in these large glass jars. The smaller one is great if you're just giving soup to one or two people, and then that large one is really great for a whole family, but that's why I keep those on hand. And then the plastic bottles are great if I'm taking like homemade lemonade or homemade sweet tea somewhere. I can just put it in these containers. So now I've got everything organized back onto the top shelf. There's a couple things that I got rid of, and I'm just giving you an overview of what that top shelf looks like. And now I'm moving on to the second shelf, just clearing everything off. I'm going to clean some of these containers and restock some of them.
this is an easy delicious meal that I always put in our meal plan every couple of weeks so starting off I'm getting that pasta cooked in the pan and then in this other pan I had cooked the meat I set that meat aside and now I'm making a thickener with butter and flour once that's thickened I add in my milk and just continue to whisk adding in the milk and whisking until I had the amount of sauce that I wanted. For seasonings I did salt, pepper, Italian seasoning and then I added in the spinach and let that cook for a little while and then also added in the meat and that meat was just some ground pork Italian sausage. Once your sauce is thick and your spinach is completely cooked then you can add in the pasta stir that together, put the lid back on, let it sit for a couple more minutes on a low heat, and then I added cheese on top before serving. I'll try to type up somewhat of a recipe down below, but like I said, there's no really exact measurements, but it is a pretty easy recipe to make. Okay, so I'm going to pause here and share a quick Azure standard haul. This is my first time ever ordering from Azure. My mother-in-law and my sister-in-law have been ordering from them for years, so I've always wanted to try them out, especially the last couple of months, and I finally made an order last month, and I just picked it up at the drop a couple of days ago. If you want to learn more about Azure Standard and how it works and everything, I'll put the link for their website down below. This is not sponsored. I did buy all of this but they are just a really awesome family owned company. It is a little bit different as in you can't just order it anytime you want to your door. It's just like a once a month drop at a location. So I found a drop in my local area. So I'll be continuing to do a once a month order that I can pick up at the drop. And like I said, I'll put the link for the website. They've got like videos and everything to explain how it all works. But first thing over here, I got two bags of rolled oats. I should have gotten more. I wish I would have gotten more of everything but I just kind of got a couple of items just to try it out and see the size of the bags and like if I want to continue ordering. All these bags right here are all five pounds, so five pounds of oats. I've got two five pound bags of the all-purpose flour, so a total of 10 pounds of that. And then I got five pounds of kidney beans and five pounds of black beans. This 40 ounce bag of the multicolored organic popcorn and this is the best popcorn. We have it when we go to my mother-in-law's house and I've been wanting to order this for a while. So we finally have got some, definitely getting a bigger bag next time because we do go through a lot of popcorn. I got this bag of baking soda. These organic banana chips are really tasty, great little snack. This is a one pound bag. And last thing I got was a little bottle of vanilla extract. This was a good price. Everything is a good price for being organic, good quality. Like I was really surprised at the prices when I went to order.
made a large batch of my homemade granola and I'll have that recipe typed up down below as well. I've shown that several times here on my YouTube channel so I won't take you through it step by step but I will have the recipe down there. I usually like to have the pantry stocked with the homemade granola and so I washed all of the granola containers with some soap and hot water because they hadn't been washed in a while and with that sticky granola they just really needed a good washing. So those are washed and are drying and that first batch of granola is in the oven. And I'm just continuing to work my way along the shelves, cleaning, I'm wiping off containers, refilling them, wiping down the shelves, and just working my way down each shelf in the pantry. Okay, the first batch of granola is done and I let that cool off before I put it in the containers. And here is a look at everything that is leaving the pantry. These are items that are trash or that I'm donating. Um, and then I did take a quick break to make the boys some shaved ice. I'll link this shaved ice maker down below as well because it is really handy to have, especially in the hot summertime here in Arizona. My mom got us this for Christmas two years ago and it's really fun to have on hand. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to get done was to clean out and restock this spice and baking cabinet here in the kitchen. So I'm starting off with the top shelf. I cleared everything off of the shelf and then cleaned that top shelf and now I'm just going through the items that were up there on that shelf. And one of my little tubes of icing dye had spilled a little bit in this container so it was a good thing I was going through this. I got that cleaned up, got things reorganized and put back up on the shelf. These little parchment paper cupcake liners are really awesome. I will link them down below. I got those on Amazon and they look really cute on your finished cupcakes and muffins. I did reorganize this cabinet a little over a year ago, added the containers and the spice rack, the spice jars and everything. And I made these labels for the containers with my Cricut. But this cabinet was just needing to be cleaned out and restocked and then I'm also just reorganizing it quickly here. These little containers that I keep the popcorn, the cornstarch, the baking soda, all of that in, those came as a set on Amazon. I have the rest of the set in the pantry, but these were the perfect size for this cabinet to go up on this shelf and to keep items that I use often. We do make a lot of popcorn and it's just nice to have these little containers of those baking items easily accessible right here in this cabinet. Moving on down to the bottom shelf, that is where I keep all of the seasonings and spices and also things like vanilla extract and little containers of items like that. So this whole spice rack setup I got on Amazon. It came with the glass jars, the spice rack and also the stickers. I have loved this setup. It's been so nice to just easily see everything. It looks really nice and organized and just a great way to keep all of those spices and seasonings organized. They have a lot of stickers to choose from, just about every seasoning and spice you can think of and it does come with this little funnel so that it's easy to fill up the jars. So I decided to go ahead and fill up the rest of my spice rack with a few more spices and seasonings that I wanted to have on hand. So that is what I was working at here. And I was also showing you there that if you buy your spices at Walmart and you buy the organic great value spices that come in the glass jar, 
It's actually the exact same glass jar as the glass jars in this set. So all you have to do if you have those organic spices from Walmart in the glass jar is to just add the sticker on top and it will blend right in with your other glass jars. Or if you want to buy just the stickers or make them yourself and then just buy all of your seasonings from Walmart as those organic ones in the glass jars and then you just have to add the stickers on top. Before I add all of those new spice jars I filled up, I'm just quickly wiping off all of the jars that I already had up here that I've been using and also refilling any of these that needed to be refilled. I hope that you enjoyed today's organization, cleaning, and restocking video. Hopefully it just gave you a lot of organization, inspiration, and motivation today, and maybe just gave you that motivation that you needed to get something done around the house. Here I was showing you how the finished cabinet was looking. It's nice and clean and organized. It feels so good to have this reset and clean and restocked again. And I'm also showing you how I store the extra items. So the extra bags of popcorn are behind those containers of popcorn, the extra baking soda, and all of that. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching and supporting my channel. I really appreciate each of you so much. Don't forget to go and enter that giveaway that I have going on. All the details will be typed up down below, and I hope that you each have a wonderful week. I'll see you next week on Tuesday with a new video. Bye!